Scott, Adrian Stills qualified for the PGA Tour at Q School. He was the last African American to earn his PGA Tour card via Q School. Conventional wisdom said that after Tiger Woods became a star on tour, more black players would follow. That hasn't happened. Halfway through Q School, a player who has followed Tiger's path may be the next. Like most players at Q School, Joseph Bramlett is looking to make a name for himself this week. At 22 years old, he is one of the legions of youngsters who grew up on golf in the Tiger Woods era. We were inspired by him, and we could plan out the rest of our careers, you know, not copy him, but definitely mimic him in certain ways. And, you know, we've learned a lot from him, you know, from the workouts to the how hard he practiced to the way he, he plans out a golf course. Um, you know, we've gotten to kind of cheat off of him a little bit. Bramlett was a standout at Stanford, finishing his degree in June. The Stanford Connection has given him the opportunity to gain the insight of the player who inspired him on numerous occasions, including a practice round before Bramlett's first U.S. Open at Pebble Beach this year. The biggest thing that he kind of set on me was just the importance of putting. To see someone like myself out there succeeding and to see the, the work that he's put in actually pay off, uh, it's meant a lot to me. Bramlett also shares a multiracial background like Woods. He is well aware that he can change 25 years of history with his Q School performance. I'm not going to lie, there's a little bit of inspiration inside of me for that. There's a lot of us coming out and coming up. And, uh, you know, if I had the opportunity to do it this week, that would, you know, mean the world to me. Uh, because it's been too long, frankly. My game feels good, so hopefully I can just kind of keep it rolling. And Craig, the folks can see Bramlett and the others at 1230 on Saturday here on Golf Town. Tiger Woods leading the way. Is this the weekend that he gets that?